again. Uh, welcome along to Pete Cater Jazz Drums with me, Pete Cater, and these jazz drums. Now, today is a request. This is a uh, response to a specific message that I got the other day uh, based on the video when I was talking about Joe Morello and the left hand technique that I use. And uh, as I asserted at the time and continue to now my left hand technique is completely different to the way Joe Morello used to do it uh, and a couple of you have asked for a, a bit of clarification about how that actually works and what it is it's a wrist stroke uh, on the beat uh, what to begin with so let's just do that first and it's the same kind of wrist stroke that you use if you're stirring with the left hand brush Now let's add the middle triplet. And I'm getting that by squeezing. The, the uh, stick is way up behind the knuckle here. So uh, in response, it's almost like a, a reaction uh, to the wrist motion. And the third triplet I just get from either dropping my ring finger or tapping the stick with the middle finger. So let's do that. An exercise to get into this is to start with just the quarter note, just the wrist motion, then add the middle triplet, then add the third triplet, like so. Get that middle triplet right <clears throat> the third triplet will kind of play itself there's very little effort required to do that I, i've been messing around with things like this for years and years now it's always been something that's fascinated me quite a bit you know these great master technicians and some of the techniques i think they were using back in the day i think it maybe got a little lost in the midst of time but there's always new guys coming up with new and interesting approaches to this uh, and that's really important too what i have found out over years of doing this kind of material is don't practice your left hand in isolation because you, know, you might just need that in the very early stages to just to grasp the technique but as soon as you have that get doing something with your right hand and both of your feet uh, and that way you're kind of replicating the context in which you might use this kind of stuff in a musical setting and that's how we're going to conclude today so we've got good old page 34 of the uh, syncopation book to hand here, our old friend. And I'm gonna play the syncopation line on the bass drum, and I'm gonna fill around that with uh, snare drum triplets. So the first pattern, number one, it would sound like this. Here's the bass drum part, one, two, three, four. Add the snare drum triplet fill, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to add the ride symbol. One, two, three, four. And the left foot. One, two, three, four. So what we're going to do, we create a two bar loop. And in the second bar, we're going to play all 12 triplets in the left hand. So we're getting from our continuous left hand uh, triplet wrist and finger motion, uh, moving in and out of it from kind of more normal comping like dialogue kind of stuff between the left hand and the bass drum uh, so that's going to work like this so here's the first pattern complete as, as the two bar loop one two three four <laughs> Don't worry about speed. Don't even think about speed. Uh, I find I get much more from focusing on endurance rather than speed. And if I practice this at the right kind of tempo, and this is a really, really big deal, the tempo at which I can think of what I'm doing, and it's not just kind of muscle memory based, um, 
then I progress that much further and faster. And that's a whole other topic uh, that we're going to be talking about in a future video. And until then, take care, have fun with your drumming, practice hard, practice good, and I'll see you again very soon.